hi loves welcome to olives if you are new to this channel you are welcome and if you're an oldie you are welcome back again in this video we will be making this structured sleeve so please keep on watching and let's get right into the tutorial For this sleeve, we will need crinoline, which is of 2 inches. It comes in different width, so use the one that is best for you, okay? And we also make use of rigilin bone or sewable bone. And so, you also need to take note of the length of the sleeve you want, okay? Say, I want 13 and half as the main length okay you multiply the length you want by two okay so my is 27 and this is how the sleeve will look like right i'll go ahead and measure the full length of the crinoline which will be 27 so while measuring do not pull just use the tip on the crinoline and measure okay so I'll go ahead and cut that. Now looking at how the crinoline is, it does not have any strength or it does not have any structure, right? So I'll measure the same 27 inches length for another crinoline to double it, okay? So now if you want two different sleeves, then you are going to cut four of the same length. So here I have two of them and you keep them close together like this, right? You can as well pin them to keep them in place. Then you go ahead and stitch each side like this. So we are doing this to keep them together, okay? For our fabric or strap, we are going to use the same width for the crinoline and we will have to add allowance okay so this is two inches so your strap will be of two inches on fold right so that will be four inches and you need extra allowance for sewing so that will be five inches extra one inch allowance so if you cut this on fold you should have two and half inches now in my case i want to use two different fabrics okay so instead of two and a half inches or five inches in total i will use three inches because i want to use different fabrics okay so this is cut into two and i'll pick the other one which is also three inches right so i'll put them together like this now the reason why i have three inches is i'll stitch half inch on both sides before i turn inside out I would advise that while stitching, even though the width of the crinoline is 2 inches, add quarter inch to it. As in, by the time you are done stitching, you should have quarter inch more than the same width you want, okay? So you can be able to insert easily. The main length of the sleeve is 13 and half. We need half inch at the edge to tack it down to the dress so here i have 28 all right so by the time i fold it i should have 14 inches so go ahead and stitch the edge together and turn inside out okay i've gone ahead to stitch the two crinoline and this is how they look okay so the next thing now looking at how the crinoline is looking it is not as structured as we want so you add bone that's the rigilin bone that's when it comes in you stitch on both sides okay you may as well want to add to the middle after stitching right so you can get more structure now after all done we have to knit in the edge of the crinoline okay so with this i'll use this strap and it is about one and a half inches right so you place this 
the width should be more than um the length of the crinoline right so you fold the excess this way and also fold the other one this way so we assume with the pin that i have stitched and then after stitching you turn this way to the other side fold the edge down and fold again so you can have a nice finish okay and you repeat the same thing to this other side as well as the other sleeve this is how it looks after all done and you realize that it has structure now okay it is strong now the next thing is to pick the strap Fold the crinoline like this and insert. Now, obviously, because we have added allowance to both ends of the fabric, you should definitely have half inch on both sides. Okay, that is all for the sleeve. Now, it comes down to how to style it. And this depends on the style you are following, right? And if not, you are free to style it the way you want, right? I would advise that you do this on a mannequin or you do this on your client. Stand by the mirror and play with a strap. Play with a strap to see how nice it will look. Okay, so as you can see, I'm trying to change the positions to see how nice it will look and the second strap is actually smaller than the first one after you find the style you want then you locate where you want the sleeve to be on the dress okay you tack it down and use an applique to cover the rough side of the sleeve but if you want to work with something similar like this then you should do without the bone so you can manipulate it nicely okay i finally came up with this i think this is better than whatever i was doing at first you can also make one end to be at the front and the other at the back or you keep it at the side of a dress make it a sleeve yo however you want to do it okay I hope you've enjoyed learning from this video as much as I enjoyed recording. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, share to a friend, subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notification bell so anytime I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Also, let me know what you think in the comment section below, okay? Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.